Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back to the second candle review of the day. A little earlier, I shared my thoughts on Bath & Body Works Tiki Beach, which by the way, I know I'm really late to that one, but I just recently discovered it finally this year and boy, am I a fan. So if you missed that particular video, I'll go ahead and link it in the description box down below. But in this video, we are talking about one of the latest Kringle Reserve candles that recently dropped. And this is Psychedelic Citrus. I did review the uh, Kringle Reserve Orange. Um, gosh, when did that go up? I don't know. I, th I think it was either this past weekend or something, but I'll go ahead and link the review of the orange in the description box as well. Um, feel free to check those out after this video. Um, but I did purchase a, both of these at the exact moment that they launched on the website. I decided to skip the pear because I'm not actually a huge fan of pear fragrances a lot of times. I tend to think that they have to be pretty carefully done because to my nose, pear comes across as almost like a, like a body odor type of scent. <laughs> I know that that probably sounds really random and I don't know what's wrong with my nose, but a lot of times pear scents just don't smell right to me. So I figured it was probably a pretty safe bet to skip that one. If I am going to pick it up, it would probably be closer to the fall anyway. Um, I don't view pear as a springtime scent personally. Um, a pear to me kind of falls into the apple category where those types of fruity scents tend to be a little more, um, I guess, pleasing to my nose during like September, October, more towards the early fall. So, but anyway, you guys, let's get back to this psychedelic citrus. Okay, I have burned this one actually a little bit longer than I did even the orange. I'm definitely a solid like third of the way through this one already. Um, and I, while I really love both of them, I do think that I love the orange a little bit more, but I was pleasantly surprised by how much I love this one too, because grapefruit isn't necessarily always my favorite. Um, I definitely like it more than lime when it comes to the citrus notes that are out there, but grapefruit isn't something that I immediately um, look for in terms of you know fragrances. Um, I, I love lemon, I love orange, um, grapefruit, you know, I would put it definitely in, in that top three there. Lime, I kind of just avoid if at all possible. Um, but this grapefruit here is really interesting and unique. So let's go ahead and read through the fragrance notes. And um, then we'll talk about what my nose picks up. We'll talk strength and throw, which is pretty solid, and the overall performance, which it, this is the 100% Kringle Soy formula. So I don't know. I don't really ever deal with issues uh, in terms of the overall burn quality, but we'll talk about it anyway. All right. Experience a tantalizing kaleidoscope of citrusy vibrance with psychedelic citrus, where zesty oranges and the refined sweetness of reserve pear, keep that note in mind here, when we go through the notes, <laughs> um, combined to create an exhilarating fruit filled aroma that awakens the senses. Okay. Top notes, sparkling orange, lime fizz and grapefruit glow. Um, so basically orange lime grapefruit. Um, the mid notes are sweet strawberry, apricot nectar and lush watermelon. The base is sugar crystals and solar musk. So I was a little perplexed by the addition of the reserve pear in the description when pear is not mentioned in the fragrance notes, but I tell you what, I definitely pick up some pear in here. Um, I think it definitely kind of falls towards like the middle notes for me. It's not the first thing that I detect. This is very much a citrus forward fragrance. Um, and there's definitely some other fruity notes that we'll go through here. But in terms of the orange, the lime and the grapefruit, I kind of feel like those three are kind of an equal distribution, if you will, 
in, in that top note component for sure. It's a really lovely, juicy orange. It actually reminds me of the orange that is in the Reserve Orange scent. Um, the lime, despite not really loving lime, I do think it works in this, part in this particular concoction here. It's not crazy prominent, but there is that kind of like zesty lime note for sure. The grapefruit is really lovely. It does smell to me more of like a sugared grapefruit for sure. It's, I'm, I'm loving those three notes together. They are very enjoyable and definitely the first thing that hits my nose for sure. In terms of these middle notes, the strawberry, the apricot nectar, and the watermelon. So strawberry, I don't really get at all. I do detect, I do detect just a touch of apricot, but not a whole lot. But the watermelon, I actually get a healthy dose of watermelon in this one for sure. And then also I think in the mid notes for me is where I'm getting just a teensy bit of that pear, which is such an interesting addition to this for sure. Um, I think it'd be fine without the pear even, but I, I do smell it in here for some reason. Um, I'm actually, so I have the, the top behind the camera here and I'm sticking my nose in that just so I can get like, you know, a, a closer sniff. Yeah, I really think there's some pear in here for sure. It's so interesting. But man, those top notes, you guys, those are like out of this world good. Oh, this is a good one. Um, okay, so the watermelon, yes, there is some watermelon here for me. It's not an overly sweet watermelon, and I actually feel like I also get a little bit of that green rind from the watermelon as well. Um, the base of the sugar crystals and the solar musk. Mm, I, I'm not really getting that solar musk, um, but this is a sweet scent. I will say I expected this to come across as more candied, if you will, um, much sweeter than what it actually is, but it is a sweet scent. Um, I don't think that anyone would stick their nose in this, however, and find it cloying at all. I think it kind of has the perfect sweetness, where it's just kind of in the middle of like, you know, just that pure citrus. And then that almost like you're eating the, do you guys remember? I don't, do they, I'm sure they still have these. My grandma had these at her house all the time, but th they had the oranges, the, the limes, and I think it was the lemons. And they were little candies, like gummy candies, um, in the shapes of, you know, like a little slice of, like a half slice of lemon or a half slice of lime or something like that. They were kind of thick. They were really chewy and they had like a sugary coating on them. I kind of expected this candle to smell like those like grandma candies. <laughs> um, I, you know what, I never asked her where she bought them. I have never seen those at a store. Where do the grandmas buy these particular candies? I actually kind of want to pick them up just for like nostalgic reasons. But um, yeah, I, I think this has kind of the perfect level of sweetness here. It's not cloying, but it is sweet. Um, it has a lot, it has a healthy dose of each of those citrus notes. Um, and it's just delightful. This is such a, this is a really happy fragrance. It's vibrant, it's energizing. It's a fantastic one to have on hand uh, if you love to open your windows in the early spring when those, you know, first kind of just slightly cool breezes start, you know, flowing through your windows, but you can tell like the weather's really starting to warm up. This just makes your house just smell so fresh and clean, but also slightly sweet at the same time. I don't know, I'm a big fan of opening the windows year round just to air the house out. I'm German and so I grew up with both my Oma and my mom doing this. My mom still does it to this day where, you know, on the weekends, especially when she's home, she gets up and first thing she does is she opens her windows, even if it's really cold out. And it just, that fresh breeze is fantastic. And when I have this lit in the morning and that breeze is flowing through and carrying this particular scent throughout the house, it's so lovely. I have really enjoyed pairing this one with the orange. 
they both are lovely together. I don't think you necessarily, I don't know, it, de it depends. I, I, I was gonna say you don't necessarily need both, but they are different fragrances. I think if you're just looking for more of a straightforward orange fragrance, definitely opt for the orange. But if you like the addition of the lime and the grapefruit, I think you're really gonna enjoy this one. Strength and throw. Pretty solid, like healthy, medium strength, I would say. So strength for me, if I'm gonna put a number on it, is right around seven. The throw is definitely a solid seven as well. Very prominent in the room where I'm burning it, but absolutely travels quite well. Um, I do find that the reserve candles do a little bit better either in a candle sleeve or in a hurricane. You can definitely amp them up a little bit, um, but I, I would really like to see some of the reserve fragrances also become available in the upcoming four wick version. I'm not sure if Kringle has any like um, any plans of offering four wick reserve candles, but if they did, um, I would absolutely bite. Even if they were, you know, they're, they're obviously going to be more expensive than what the two wicks are, but. Um, I just think that a lot of these different concoctions in the reserve line are really unique and interesting. And um, there are a few that I definitely want a little bit more oomph out of. And this one here, I think I I would definitely take just an, an additional, you know, notches up in terms of strength and throw, but I think it does fine for how it is. Um, burn quality, I mean, there's nothing really to talk about here. It's been perfect from the time that I lit it. I have actually had this one lit like up to six hours at a time and have had no issues. I'll give you guys an overhead shot here for sure um, so that you can see what the wax looks like, but there's absolutely no discoloration. There's no sooting in the jar or anything like that. The flames are always nice and tall. I do trim these wicks. I don't trim them super short, but you know, I definitely give them a healthy trim before the start of each burn and it's doing great. This has been lit for about 20 minutes, so you can see it's fully pulled out, but it has not achieved that solid um, inch wax pool that definitely develops on these uh, reserve candles. So um, yeah, you guys, two thumbs up. If you're at all interested in this one, uh, just based on the scent profile, I would say go for it. You can use my code Melanie15 to save 15% off of any of the reserve candles. Um, they, as you guys are aware, if you're a Kringle candle fan, you know that they rarely ever go on sale. A lot of times towards the end of the year, um, you know, Kringle might clearance out a few of the reserve candles, but um, you know, a, a lot of them, they, they don't even ever do that with. So I would say this is definitely worth picking up. Um, it's very enjoyable. I give it two thumbs up. Between this and the orange, I see myself repurchasing both in the future. So I hope that Kringle um, has these available for the long run. They are not sold out, so um, you will easily be able to order these. And let me know if you guys have any questions. If you picked up the Psychedelic Citrus, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And um, don't forget to check out the description box for the links to the other candle reviews that I mentioned and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.